My name is Ed Martell. I'm a firefighter here in the Gloversville Fire Department. Been here for 15 years. Um, I'm here to talk today about some changes in a uh, city codes in regards to um, grilling uh, near structures, uh, and also to talk a bit about uh, fire pit safety and just some things for us to remember in regards to going forward with that. So, in terms of um, grilling. Uh, and how that's changed um, now for two-family and multi-family dwellings grilling on porches or near the structure within 15 feet is prohibited um, that can't happen for safety reasons um, so that's changed because it used to be just multi-family homes that it was like that in now it's also for two families so two family and multi-family homes that is prohibited to be grilling on your porch uh, on decks um, and within 15 feet of the house um, houses are combustible uh, a lot of times on porches you have uh, things that are also combustible garbage um, furniture siding you have the roof of a porch potentially um, and then on decks, you have usually uh, wooden decks uh, that uh, can easily be combustible. So those things have been prohibited. So at this point, um, it is much safer to not be grilling next to your home or within 15 feet of uh, combustible materials. Um, in regards to fire pits, uh, we encourage people to renew their fire pits if they don't already have one. The city's been gracious enough to allow people to be able to have open burning. Um, inappropriate um, uh, fire uh, pits that are um, safe um, so once a year uh, you can come in and get your uh, fire pits renewed uh, the process for getting one originally in the first place is that you come in you uh, fill out a fill out an application you take the application next door to the to City Hall. You pay for the permit, which is a $25 fee. You bring it back and set up an appointment for one of the fire officers to go out and to take a look and inspect the fire pit to make sure that it's safe. Some of the things that we'd be looking for with that is that just like with uh, grilling, that you need 15 feet of space around it that doesn't have combustibles, that is clean and clear of um, anything that could catch fire. So that means um, raking your lawn around your fire pit to make sure there's not a lot of debris and grass or uh, uh, leaves, dried leaves. Making sure that above your fire pit that there's not overhanging branches, that you don't have fences, buildings, whatever around the pit. If that is approved, um, then you're able to have uh, appropriate fires there using um, dry wood not garbage, not uh, siding that you just removed from your house, that uh, the renovations that you're doing on the house, not old furniture, um, but dry firewood. Um, and it's also always good to have access to water or some way of putting out the fire if there is a, um, if you do by any chance something does happen that you have a hose or at least a bucket of water next to you. So. We encourage you to come in, uh, get your fire pits if you don't already have one and you have the space if you think in your backyard. Um, and if you already have one, come on in and uh, get it renewed. We're happy to do that and um, be able to enjoy yourself during the summer with a nice uh, fire. <laughs>